Yes, so uh, Mr. Kapil Gupta, one can understand that, you know, how stressful it gets for parents, how difficult it gets for students. It's very easy for authorities to, you know, quickly make one rule and change it to another. But look at the impact that it has at the ground level. I also want you to uh, throw some light on the fuss over, uh, you know, the north-south divide because a lot of uh, people feel, uh, especially students in North India, have come up with uh, some responses saying that they are slightly disadvantaged over uh, students in uh, southern parts of the country where most of the medical colleges are there. Is that correct? No, that is correct. And uh, that also reflects a level of development which is better towards south and not uh, that much towards uh, north. So if you look at UP, Bihar, uh, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, the number of uh, medical college seats as a percentage of population hmm. is very, very poor. You go to Karnataka, Maharashtra, uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, that ratio is much, much better. So what that would mean is if the cutoff uh, in UP is going to be 570, in uh, Karnataka it is going to be 510. So right. what that means is that there has to be better effort on the part of the governments in these respective states in the north to come up with uh, more medical college seats, it's not a very simple, pro uh, uh, it's not a very difficult problem to solve. Infrastructure, developing a medical college infrastructure, mm -hmm. if the government wants, it's a three-year job. It can very easily be done. But uh, someone has to put in the effort there. This problem, uh, uh, Dr. N. K. Sharma, you can help me. What were the numbers when we were independent and what are the numbers today? in terms of uh, uh, number of yes, uh, doctors go ahead. Mr. Per, uh, Mr. Sharma, as a percentage of population. Dr. N. K. Sharma, go ahead, sir. See, uh, uh, first and foremost, my condolences to the uh, to the family who lost the father. This is a very very serious issue. Uh, uh, if if before replying this, can I can I make a quick point here? Yes, please do. Uh, the quick point is that please understand the other side of the need as well. That it is it is a single exam now. Single exam now. It is a career at stake. Everything boils down to one day now, and therefore these standard operating procedures have to be immaculate. You cannot, you cannot disturb the students right in the b middle of the examination because this is the one chance they are getting. The entire effort they have put in over the years is now boiling down to one. Yes, it is a single exam. Single exam also means that they have a single crack, crack at it. And therefore, if anything, there is nothing trivial. If anything is bothering your mind, it is not trivial. It is a career at stake. Now, coming to the question that Kapil has said, See, uh, what has happened that over the period of time, 1951 to 1966, so number of seats were actually increased. And basically after that, what is happening from 2013, whatever increase is happening is happening in the private sector. So from 1966 to 2013, jitna bhi increase hua, that increase was basically in the private sector. That was not resonating in the increase in the government sector seats as well. Now probably government is looking to increase the number of seats in government medical colleges. Right. And because affordability is a big issue, hmm. because the availability of the good colleges is an issue. And therefore, there is definitely a need of increasing in government seats. Absolutely. No there is a need to increase seats in the more affordable colleges.